Welcome back everyone. I have something kind of serious that I want to talk about and some things that I want to share with you in this video. So most of you are familiar with Skylum software. Skylum is a company that makes a suite of image editing applications known as Luminar and there's different variations on Luminar. There was Luminar 4, Luminar AI, and then there's the brand new one which is Luminar Neo. Now if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that they have been a sponsor of this show. In fact, I've had a business relationship and a partnership with them for a number of years now. They sponsor content for this channel that allow me to make stuff for you guys for free. I've also worked for them for some of their own personal applications and we've had a wonderful relationship and I've gotten to know many people at that company over the years. At first over email and then Zoom calls and you know when we work together on videos we collaborate and I've even met some of them in person. They're a really special group of people and I would consider them friends and colleagues. What you might not know about Luminar and Skylum is that Skylum even though it's a global company it's actually based mostly in Ukraine. The reason that I'm sharing this with you is because as photographers, and look, I do this all the time, you know, you pick up a camera and you're there to take photographs. You go sit down at a computer to edit and you're there to edit your images, get the job done and move on. And very seldom do we actually consider that there are human beings behind the things that we're using. There are people who make those objects or make that software. And I've been in a position in my career where, you know, there have been many times where I've actually gotten to through Sony and through Leica and through Skylum to meet the people who make the things that I use. And it's a really special thing every time. It's a fun conversation and you realize that they're human beings. They're people with families and lives and homes. And you kind of have this weird, awkward relationship, even though you've never met in person. And then once you get to know people, I mean, it's, it's something that I really value in my career and I think this is certainly the case with Skylum. I've actually met these people in person and they mean a lot to me. So as you can probably imagine, the last three weeks watching the invasion and then the war in Ukraine go on, for me, I've got faces and names associated with everything that I'm seeing on the news and it's been really difficult, especially at the very beginning. Now, I know a lot of people personally and I was DMing on Instagram, emailing, and at first you didn't hear back from anybody and you really start getting worried or that was the case with me. And here's the deal, I have heard back from everyone and this is what's hard to say. I wish that I could sit here and say, hey, everyone's okay, okay define what that means because yes, they are alive. But I want to explain this because I don't think that it's something that those of us that are removed from the situation consider. But like think of all the basic necessities that we have in our lives, the things that we need. So you, we're talking about shelter, food, family. Imagine all of a sudden having the rug just yanked out from underneath you. It The only word that I can use to describe the situation is that it, it's absolutely horrifying. No human being should ever have to go through what these people are going through right now. Imagine like staying in the city where it's not only unsafe, but you go to the grocery store and shelves are empty. And so they start rationing. So you've got to get in line really early in the morning and then you've got to work with what they actually have to give you. It's, it's unimaginable and horrifying is the only word I can think of. Another thing that's bothered me through this whole situation, and maybe this is self-centered, but you know, I want to do something and because I know people personally over there, I want to do something that I feel is the best use of what I have to give and the impact that I can make. And so I would say about a week ago, I was talking to my friend Asia who works at Skylum and we got on a Zoom call and she suggested that maybe I could talk to their CEO and share that with you guys. And I said, you know what? I think that is an excellent idea. I have met Ivan before. A group from Skylum were in, uh, they were in Austin, Texas. This was, and this is amazing too. This was in December. This is like just a little over three months ago. And it's just amazing how fast everything can change. But we had a great time. They were there to show me uh, the prototype for what is Luminar Neo and they were talking about some of their plans and this was on a business level but we did get to hang out that day on a personal level and it was a lot of fun. So I took her up on her offer and I want to share this interview with you now. So this morning I had a conversation on Zoom with Ivan Kutanen who as I mentioned is the CEO of Skylum Software. He graciously made time to talk with me and one of the things that I asked Ivan is how this company is holding up right now with the current situation going on in Kyiv. This situation uh, is a really difficult situation for Skyland because uh, our business is uh, mostly about our people. 90% of all our employees changed their life. You know, like uh, we moved to safer places. Uh, we uh, left uh, everything we had uh, in uh, our 
the cities and because of that uh, it's definitely a very tough time for us and uh, Skylum supports mostly is uh, focused on employees and uh, making this process at least not so harmful more than just money we have like small squad of guys who helping uh, our other employees uh, uh, to move they're uh, looking for uh, some flats or houses uh, because it's really tough uh, uh, around 70 percent uh, of key focus is now on uh, western ukraine and uh, around 5 million people are already transferred also there so because of that uh, it's really hard to find something uh, at least okay you know like for for someone to live some of our employees need to live uh, for two three families in one flat yeah it's uh, it's you know like it's life as it is uh, and uh, because of that uh, we still f- uh, trying to find uh, something better uh, some better conditions for them running a business during a war is a difficult job to say the least pretty much all employees are effective and in addition on february 24th Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky ordered a general military mobilization, so essentially conscripting reservists. So this is all men aged 18 to 60. I asked about the day-to-day challenges that Skylum is facing. Around 50% of our company are male, so because of that, and uh, they are between 18 and 60. Some of our employees, uh, you know, like just uh, during the meetings, they need to go to shelters because uh, there's uh, air alarms and uh, some cities are bombed uh, at night at, uh, and uh, daily. And uh, because of that, uh, uh, maybe on the beginning, about five to six hours uh, of the day, uh, our employees needed to, to be in the shelters. And uh, right now it's uh, about two, three hours, but still every day, our employees who are in uh, Ukrainian cities uh, must go to shelters. Despite having to navigate all of these obstacles, Skylum are actually producing work. Remote working has been a key factor, but it's still impressive. I asked Ivan how this was possible considering everything that's going on. Thanks to COVID, uh, we became a very distributed team, so uh, we still can uh, create software, uh, like release new updates to Luminar Neo, and uh, as uh, our product, uh, we still uh, can uh, talk to our partners and uh, hopefully, I think 95% of uh, Skylum employees uh, are working right now. We just released Luminar Neo. We just uh, released our first update, small update. Second update will be released this week, by the way. So uh, yeah, uh, please uh, wait for it. Uh, Luminar Neo will become better and better. As it's been difficult to watch a war from 5,000 miles away, the most important question I wanted to ask Ivan is how can we help? How can we help Ukraine and how can we help Skylum through an impossibly difficult time? Actually, we in Skylum believe that uh, everyone has a very powerful weapon and this weapon is truth. So we ask everyone who can share, spread the word, our position as a company, as a country, and uh, share the situation, uh, support Ukraine with, uh, with the truth to do it. Because we really need your support. We really need world support to win in this war. Actually, Ukraine is in a war state and uh, it will be as long as Russia wanted. So because of that, uh, we need all together to ask them to stop the war. To help Ukraine, Skylum have developed a very unique program for drone donation. I asked Ivan to explain this. Drone donation uh, was the idea from our team uh, because we are, most of us are photographers and we definitely have drones. Uh, so that drones can help as military guys, uh, as well as volunteers uh, and uh, civilian people who can uh, understand the situation outside. So sometimes you just need to go up and see what happens near you. Uh, is it safe to go out? It's it's very simple. And because of that, uh, our employees uh, asked about initiative. Uh, maybe uh, we can donate some drones from Skylum. And uh, after that, we thought about that our users also can join this initiative. And we saw really good feedback you know like 
I, I donated my DJI Pro 2. I know that you also donated your drone and uh, more than 200 of our users already donated drones. So those drones will go to the de definite persons who need them. And because of that, uh, please, if you have uh, opportunity to donate your old drone, you want to switch to newer one, or you have a uh, good drone that you can donate, uh, please join our initiative. Uh, that will help a lot, definitely. Also, not only drones, but if you have some parts for drones, uh, batteries, chargers, and so on, everything will be very, very helpful. Is that really matters. Ivan, I want to thank you for coming on. I think this is important, and I know I can speak for myself, and I know my viewers will, will be understanding too. And I think everybody's got your back and everybody supports you. Uh, I want to come to the Ukraine one day, so hopefully that will be that will be possible to visit. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Ted. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, thank everyone who, who watching us and uh, supporting Skylum and Ukraine. Uh, we will win definitely, and everything will be good with Ukraine and with Skylum. Thank you, guys. As I mentioned before, I got to hang out with Ivan in Austin a while back, and I had no clue that this would be the next conversation that we'd be having. And so uh, thanks again, Ivan, for coming on. I know he's got a lot going on. If you'll indulge me for just a second, a couple other people that I met that day, and I just want to put faces on this for you. But first of all, this is Dima. Dima is the chief product officer for Skylum. He is very passionate about photography, super nice guy, extremely funny. This is Anna. Uh, Anna and I have stayed uh, in contact quite a bit. She's the head of marketing and communications. We had gone to breakfast that morning and I introduced them all to the wonderful delicacy that is chicken and waffles. It's a Southern thing. Anyway, after that, uh, I got to hang out with Dima and Anna for most of the day and it was just fun. We were talking business and then we were just talking about other things. I took them down to the Brazos River there where the Stevie Ray Vaughan statue is and then they wanted to go see the Texas State Capitol. So I took them over there and we had a lot of fun looking at the rotunda and everything. And it was really amazing that they wanted me to share part of my home in Texas with them. Another person I want to show you, this is Juliana. And Juliana is probably somebody I've known at Skylum the longest. We've worked together on a lot of different projects. And we've been on Zoom calls before, and this was before I had the studio. And my cat, because I was at home, would pop up over my shoulder. So she and Zeta are buddies. But I just wanted to put some faces on this to kind of share my experience with these people with you. I also want to talk about the drone donation program. And I will do a whole separate video on this because I'm actually donating a drone. And so there's a process to this. And if you want information now and don't want to wait for that, I will put a link in the description. Essentially, you're going to email somebody at Skylum and they will give you instructions on where the drone will be sent. Now, you're not going to send it to the Ukraine. It's not going into the war zone yet, but they do have distribution set up in Poland and they will be distributing drones from there. Now, they do have some specific things that they're looking for that they are requesting. And most of those deal with drones that do thermal imaging. And I know that's not such a hot ticket on the consumer drones Scene, but if you still have drones and drone parts, they will take anything. And you have to understand that these will be uh, distributed accordingly. And there are many uses for drones over there right now. So we're talking about hospitals, uh, local police. And so really they will take anything and definitely drone parts, batteries, so on and so forth. So this is something that's really important. Another thing that I want to mention is this is a little bit of a call to action to some of my colleagues. So first of all, this video is not sponsored by Skylum. This is something that I'm just doing because it's something that I know I can do to make a difference. And my feeling about all this is Skylum have been an excellent business partner with me for over the years. They've taken very good care of me. They've allowed me to make free content for you guys. And there's a lot to be said there. Now is the time to take care of Skylum. There are other creators who I know have worked with Skylum also. And to this point, I haven't seen a whole lot of people jump in. I am willing to do anything that I can for our friends. And I will do everything I can. But the reality is, is that I can't do this by myself. I'm not calling anybody out by name, but I think that it would be wonderful to see other people step into this and help out as well. And thank you for watching this video. This was not an easy video to make. It's something that I feel is really important and having the awareness and options for people to help out if they are so inclined is extremely important. And so thanks to Skyland for helping me with this. If you have any questions, drop them below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.